the Arduino Pro Micro I got didn't have the pin soldered on, so we're going to have to solder it on ourselves. And we're going to start by placing the pins into their holes. And we're going to start soldering it. So once we have finished soldering, our Arduino Pro Micro should look something like this. And make sure that all the pins are properly soldered on. So previously I had a different Arduino Pro Micro where the micro USB port came off. So in order to prevent that, we'll be using epoxy resin to securely attach the micro USB port onto the board. And I'm using a toothpick here to make sure the epoxy resin doesn't get inside the port. After the epoxy resin cures, we can put the Arduino Pro Micro onto the breadboard like this.